Beginning in March, the fish start the arduous 800-kilometer journey upriver from the Pacific Ocean. These spring Chinook salmon are heading for the Wenatchee River and Icicle Creek in the shadow of the majestic Cascade Mountains. Salmon once thrived here, but over the years, dams overfishing and habitat destruction have diminished their numbers. So 60 years ago, the U.S. government established a hatchery to give them some human help. Workers collect more than 1.5 million salmon eggs and raise the fish in tanks for 16 months. They are then released and head for the ocean, and guided by their sense of smell, will return here in a few years to spawn. Al Jensen is manager of the Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. Well, one unique characteristic of salmon is they'll come back to the same natal stream or area that they were born and raised. So the salmon that return here are fish that were released from here. Each year in September, a community festival celebrates the return of the salmon. Pacific Northwestern American Indian tribes join the celebration. For them, the salmon provide a source of nutrition and inspiration. Geraldine Jim is a 70-year-old member of the Warm Springs Indian tribe in neighboring Oregon. She says the salmon in this region have diminished in number. Yes, it was plentiful in the past. We could go out and just almost pull them out of the river with our hands because they come up the river with thick. Tourists and residents learn about the history of the salmon and what is being done to help them survive. They also get to taste the fish cooked over an open fire. Corky Broadus is executive director of the Wenatchee River Salmon Festival. She says the event offers visitors two things. We get to have great opportunity to, to learn something and have fun learning it. The, the key word is edutainment, so they're educated while they're entertained at the same time. And for us, it's all about learning about conserving natural resources. And so this is a way they can do it as a family. It's a free event, and it's just it's great fun. And it all takes place in one of Washington State's most scenic settings.